Anodyne is a 2013 action-adventure game developed by Melis Hantani and Marina Kataka. The game is heavily inspired by classic Zelda titles and is absolutely full of obscure secrets. This video will be about one of them. Anodyne is still an incredibly obscure game, but the secret is even more so. And thus I have to shed a light on it and allow more people to speculate upon it. Let's begin. First, I'll touch on Anodyne's history, which is quite brief. Anodyne began production in 2012 by Melis Hantani though he was soon joined by Marina Kataka, a mutual friend of his. Together, they worked on the game until its eventual release in 2013. And that's pretty much Anodyne's production history. The game got a decent amount of attention when it was released, but soon after, pretty much everyone forgot about it. But in the same year it was released, the first bit of discussion about its obscure secret emerged. Anodyne has an ungodly amount of secrets, from post-game cards, the game's collectible of choice, to items that serve no purpose to random NPCs, there are tons of oddities you can find, most of them accessible via the swap tool, which I'll briefly touch on. The swap is an item you can access near the end of the game that allows you to swap any two tiles with each other, basically allowing you to completely break apart the game, which allows you to find many secrets. Most of them are simple collectibles, but a few of them are odd leftovers from the development of the game, as well as strange NPCs which are both far more interesting to me than simple collectibles. For example, if you use the swap in one of the most bottom room, most rooms of the lake, you can find a strange room containing nothing but grass and a few red pellets in the ground, seeming to serve no purpose. These are what most swap required secrets in the game room like, and what the obscure secret presumably is. Okay, I'll stop beating around the struggling economy bush, let's discuss the secret itself. In a post on our IMA released the same year as the game, Melos and Marina answered questions from various fans, but I'm only interested in two of them right now. A user named Yu Mind Eraser asked 11 questions in one comment. It'll focus on this one. Has all of the game content been discovered? Melis responded to all of these, and his response to the one we're focusing on right now is intriguing. Yes. Well, except this one thing. He gave no further info in his initial reply. However, on the same thread, you Avarice Clary replied, My only question, are there any secrets no one has found yet? Melis responded to it as such. Just one, I think. But it's really obscure and there are no hints to it anywhere. Yu Kiwasabi responded with this. Any chance of a cryptic clue? He didn't respond, but a deleted user presumably asked another question, to which Melos elegantly responded. Nope. If anyone has any information on what this removed comment was, please let me know. That's all for discussion around the secret in that thread, but it sparked multiple others that I shall now discuss. On a post entitled Remaining Secrets, posted on our Anodyne, Yu Ergman said this. If I just finish 100%ing this game, as far as I know, and I can't help but wonder if there are any secrets left to find. There's lots of easter eggs that aren't cards and question mark question mark question marks, like the weird green blob and the weird red blob and the mystery moose. The main thing I'm curious of is the statement that the game can be beaten in 20 minutes. How's that? The weird green blob they're referring to is a strange ear-like thing found in the apartment, and the red blob is an amorphous mass smoking a blunt found in the red cave. The mystery moose is an enigmatic creature that occasionally appears in the green forest. And just for precision, the 20 minute rumor is possible because of a glitch in the wiggle glitch which you can read up on elsewhere. The post itself contains no valuable information, but in one of the comments, which is now deleted, user unvaluable space replied, Found the guide recently and the steam can be me for an NPC quest. They provide a link to the guide. Didn't even realize I missed it, as I've gotten everything else. After talking to the NPCs and getting into the stairway, the stone says something about a hidden temple interest in the width of trees and blue forest and that you need a swap tool to get to it. Well, I've looked everywhere and I cannot find this hidden temple entrance. My only guess is it refers to something I already got. Why temple entrance if it's just another item? Also, the moose in the forest appears, randomly, in four different locations. Still don't understand the meaning behind the moose or what it's even there for. I did, however, take note that there are two lighter colored plants in only two locations in the forest both of which where the moose appears, but what I find interesting is that only one of the two can be moved with the swap tool. Finally, I was messing around in my save file a while back and came across mentions of a bacon town in the save. The last secret he said was real obscure and with no hints, so I don't know whether to take obscure in the sense of a freaking bacon town, or obscure in, as in it's not even a big deal, in which case I'm pretty sure an entire town made of bacon would be a worthy secret. Lol. Most of it is inessential, though just so you know. The temple entrance mentioned just a hidden area in the blue forest that leads to the archives, a relatively well-known area. Part of it interesting, however, is the last few sentences. Almost no one else has discussed this topic, and it's honestly fascinating to me, as it's just so strange. 
It will be mentioned again later, so good times. The deleted user responded to Unvaluable Space, and they responded with this. Get to the archives with the hidden windmill. I think the temple you're referring to is the one that leads from the white blank map to the hidden section of the Nexus. There's no way to get to the archives of the Blue Forest, unless that's the part I'm missing, lol. Bacon Town was listed twice in the save file near the bottom. It's referred to by two different names, Bacon Town and Bacon World. The moose is mentioned in the save as well, this huge stag, lol. What's interesting to me is that there's also apparently a Bacon World, which is just so weird to me that it's mentioned twice. I doubt there's actually a Bacon World in the game, but it'd be neat. That's all there is in this thread, but the saga of the last secret is still not over. The next thread we'll discuss was posted in 2013, shortly after the AMA Mellows and Marina did, titled One More Obscure Secret, and posted on the Anodyne board in GameFAQs by user Valkfield. The post reads as follows. Per the Reddit AMA with Mellows and Marina. So, get cracking people? For those not through with post-game, this would not be any for 49 cards, or any of the question mark, question mark, question mark section. I say that because the pictures for that section were pulled, and Mel is basically confirmed via tweet that those pictures were accurate, as in there's nothing left in that section. That's it, I don't quite know, but we count it as an extra secret if it's not collectible. Also from AMA, no hints anywhere. There have been a couple of rooms mentioned, four torches, dead ends, where you don't know any purpose. Could possibly be related to those? Also from AMA, to nip it in the bud, nothing to do with 50 gate. Mellow's openly talked about possibility of a future patch allowing you to get past it, but for now, not it. It's hard to imagine we've all collectively missed a screen somewhere, so... My top two guesses are one, some action in one of those aforementioned purposeless rooms, activity something, or two, somewhere out in the glitched out world, there's something that would qualify as obscure, especially without hints and where to look. Edit. Mellow's has confirmed this is not the case. Three. There could be some of the harder to find glitch through areas that aren't fully explored. In particular, we're thinking about the area that is the 47 gate, 50 gate starting zone of the game. Without a map, hard for me to picture if I've seen every valuable square. The user Dark Cloud 20 responded as follows: Something that nobody mentioned here so far. If we don't get the jump shoes until we reach the mountain, my chair will then appear and give them to you. The salesman will restore your health instead of giving you something for the box. But what if you trade the box for the bike shoes and don't give them to my chair? Will she a not appear in the mountain to give you the jump shoes. B. Appear in the mountain, give them to you, and take the biking shoes. C. Appear in the mountain, give them to you, and you keep the biking shoes. C. Seems the most likely, so this would be a way to keep both shoes. User Key Wasabi, who appeared earlier, replied, My hunch is somewhere in the debug world. At the very least, I think that somewhere in dev related. I realized about the question mark, question mark, question mark cards is that they're most likely assets the developers ended up not using for enemies and characters so they repurpose them as collectibles. Regarding what Dark Cloud 20 said, I actually encountered this situation on my second playthrough. I never managed to get the box to trade the salesman, and now the orange shoe that hates the cats has a corner and refuses to give it to me. Then I had to wait until I got the swap to go steal it, but I go back there and I can't take it. Can't even remember how I got it in the first playthrough, so this is a bit odd. Interestingly enough, since he's guarding the box, he isn't guarding the hidden card in the level. I was able to just go grab it without cleaning his house first. I'm pretty puzzled by all the numbers, 1-1, one, one, the big 64, etc. He said there weren't any hints in the last secret, so I guess these are unrelated. There's also the bizarre area to the left of the ne nexus that you can swap to, but if you swap in any direction, that gets you nowhere. And I guess you guys were able to get to the floating 4 or 5 stones on the outside of the right pre briar area wall with a wiggle trick. I forgot to them myself, but never tried that glitch. I have no ideas about the room in the clown temple with the 4 torturers. it just seems like a red herring to me. Valkfield responded to keep Wasabi with this. I'm a bit confused on some of these. If the 1-1 one, one you're referring to is in the area with a bunch of numbers, those were the hints for the red cube. Can't remember another 1-1, one, one, but it's been a while since I explored. Watch the big 64. As for the floating stones, those stones were the ones that had the clues for the original title puzzle in the 1.503, and Melis has confirmed as much. I wondered about the square that has the red leaves and a field in it. Note, this is the room of the lake I mentioned earlier. The field is groomed so specifically and then has the red leaves. I was wondering if someone knew if this was an allusion to another game, and if so, which? I could see the screen lining up with some other game that you rearrange, say, the leaves to recreate. But that's only because I don't know if slash what this is referencing. Dark Cloud 20 responded to Bell Field about the leaves. It reminded me of Tetris, and I moved the leaves down so they would form a line in the groomed field, but nothing. User Adivateth posted this in the thread. I did notice something a little odd in my game. 
they link you a picture of the card when you're just playing 50 cards possessed. I somehow have 50 cards. I collected all of the post-game items aside from the cube in the forest. That's why those the 50 gate won't open. So on that note, it's definitely not the gate. Belkfield responded to Admineth as follows. They don't know if there are multiple triggers, but you can get a 50th card to show up any time by glitching back to the island that had the 49th card. This is a bug, and after you save, though it will show up on the title screen. You revert to having only the 49 cards once the game actually loads. A user named Zero Unit wrote this. In the prison in the debug world, there are computer monitors to turn about that can be switched on. Many of them seem impossible to get to, but I've managed to turn about 10 of them on between the two rooms. I'm referring to the rooms in which Melos and Marina. Maybe something to toy around with. For reference, I'll turn on every computer where nothing happens, so I guess that doesn't cost anything. These are leg horse. Great taste, by the way. Wrote this. There's a mysterious button in the void surrounding a nexus. It's two screens left, two screens up from the warp to the beach. It's in an area where you can walk around freely, but you'll need to swap a walkable tile onto the button in order to press it. I don't know if this has been brought up anywhere before. Are there any other buttons like this in the game? Also, is anyone meant to explore the screens to the north of the briar? Elkfield replied to this. Don't know about the screens north of briar, but yes, the button has been mentioned, and Melos, dev, said that it was just a leftover that was not taken out. Like Horse then wrote this. Okay, one other minor thing that I don't think was mentioned in the previous thread. I noticed while well, making a screenshot map of the unclaimed territory that there are two screens below the 47 card warp that are, are just completely inaccessible by either swapping or wiggling. There's an invisible barrier at the bottom of the screen that straight up can't be wiggled past. As far as I know, it's the only obstacle of that kind in the game. The two screens in question have screens to the left and right of them, which can be wiggled to scope through, ultimately leading to the glitch area. They also leave a distinctive gap at an otherwise rectangular map. Could be something, could easily be nothing. Elkfield replied to this. Haha, <laughs> yeah, those two screens are where the 50 gate are. Figure that out via going through the glitch zone versions. Or, well, the one directly below 47 is basically a blank screen followed below by the 50 gate. I'm basing this off of traversing the glitch zone counterpart, which does not have the impassable walls. User Sam and Samurai wrote a brief paragraph about the moose in the forest which we touched on earlier, and that was the end of the thread. Don't worry, that was the last long one. Not much was revealed about the secret, in fact nothing at all. But quite a few other interesting secrets were mentioned and or discovered in this thread. In 2013, the user named you out of context zero posted a thread titled 16 slots and a message for the devs on our and nine. The post read as follows. I noticed that on the question mark question mark question mark screen there are 16 empty slots you can put the cursor on. Are there actually 16 secrets of three undiscovered? The rest of it was a nice paragraph that gave the devs for making the game. Well, it's not useful for a topic at hand. You, who are you, who am I, bluntly replied. There are 13 question mark question mark question mark items. You, out of context, zero responded. Yes, I know, but your cursor could go over 16 slots in the question mark question mark question mark menu. How would that even be there if there wasn't supposed to be more items? You, who are you, who am I, wrote back. No idea. Maybe they're planning on inserting more question mark question mark question marks and never got around to it? But the creator said that there was only one undiscovered secret left, so most there could only be 14 question mark question mark question marks. This is an interesting theory to me, but I doubt that the obscure secret is another collectible. But then again, it's not like we have literally any info on it, so it definitely could be. Still in 2013, Dark Cloud Zero posted a thread in the game facts entitled, Has the last kind of elusive secret had been found? It read as follows. Melos mentioned something like that after everyone had been found by the people on here on the board. There is some kind of less elusive secret. Has it been found yet? Adian Rider responded, Card 50 is presumed unobtainable. It may be hidden very, very well. Shin DNA replied, No one said anything about Card 50. That's old news now. Apparently after everything, there is still one last unreported secret. I keep checking the board in hopes that someone has found it. Not card 50, it's not the blue ear looking guy, the red blob, the giant elk, the extra swap broom. It's none of those to the best of my knowledge. Although to be honest, I think Melos is trolling us. To be completely honest, I have no idea what the extra swap broom is. But anyways, Valkfield replied. Likewise, stock the board for the same. Do you guys follow on Steam? I never bothered getting a Steam code. Wasn't sure if that board might have yielded results. 2013, once again, user Johnny Oak posted the thread in the Steam forums for Anodyne, titled Secret Spoilery Stuff, Be Aware, that reads as follows. 
So back in the game facts forum, we had this long going discussion about secrets, and we kept finding secret stuff. But the devs hinted that we were still missing one last secret. Now I'm thinking they might be trolling us in a similar manner in which the game itself works. We found a way to trick the game into giving out a temporary fifth card, 50th card that does nothing. We found a cyan guy who sort of looks like an ear, a big red blob on the giant elf. We also found the extra swap room. Not sure if that's it or if there's some extra hidden stuff around the game. I could not find anything else. Melos responded to the post with this. Yeah, there's one thing no one has found, but like, it is effectively impossible to find, and I'm not expecting anyone to find this, and it's not related to the story or narrative at all, if that hints at what it is. I guess I can say what it is if you guys really want, but it's totally anticlimactic, I swear. It's not some crazy pants puzzle like the Fez sound encoding stuff or whatever. Johnny Oak replied, Darn you got my morbid curiosity. I really want to know though, I guess you could possibly send me in a private message. And a couple of other messages in the thread. Well, this proved it's not most other secrets in the game that were found. After someone attached a video of a few invisible tiles and asked if that was what it is, he replied, Yeah, but it's even cooler than what it is. Ha <laughs> ha. If you really want to know, shoot me an email. After a couple of those superfluous messages, user Troish1 asked, So, you or anyone ever email him? And Johnny Oak responded cryptically, I did. It's a secret to everybody. You don't want to know. Quite a few years in 2020, and with no brows posted this in game facts under the title, Did anyone ever, or ever discover ever secret in Anodyne? In 2014, someone posted a thread entitled, One more obscure secret not yet found, Spolier Snatch, insisting not all secrets have been discovered. It's what we talked about earlier. Does anyone ever discover the last of the secrets, and if so, is there a guide documenting them? Which ones haven't been discovered at this point? Unfortunately, no one responded. The most recent time someone mentioned the topic was in 2022, posted in R and Dine by you, Papa Bear, or 4053767, who is definitely not me, under the title, Last Secret and Dine. I posted the following. No one's discussed this for a while, but has anyone found the supposed obscure last secret the devs described in an AMA? No one responded. And that was the end for right now, at least, of one of the least interesting topics someone can make a video on. But I would still like to speculate on what the secret may be. Personally, I believe there's no way Bacon Town and Bacon World were anything other than weird leftovers or placeholders. I doubt the obscure secret is another dungeon or something, it does imply. I also doubt it would just be another item, as I feel someone would have found that by now. I believe the most likely thing it would be is an incredibly obscure and difficult to find NPC. But then again, with how almost everything in the game is mapped out, it wouldn't surprise me if Melis was just trolling us. And at that point, that seems the most likely. Or does it? You see, I have a secret piece of intel I've yet to let on. And it is that I am fully aware of what the last secret is. And you might be too if you've watched this channel before, so I have an update video about it being found. The last secret is the cheat code menu. Now, if you don't know what this is, if you pause the game and press the down key 25 times, you'll access the secret hidden tab of the pause screen where you can input various codes to enable things such as invincibility, no clipping, and more. We've known about this for quite a while, so it's pretty disappointing to find out what it is. If you're wondering how I know this, remember when Melo said he'd tell anyone that was a secret if they shot him an email? Well, I shot him an email, and he'd let me know, but that's what it is. I don't know why no one ever proposed the idea of the secret of the cheap menu, but well, I'm glad we know the answer now at least. Thanks for watching this. Bye.